What's up, my beautiful, 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 beautiful people? This is so random because I just saw something that just made me just, girl, lose my shit. And let me show you, girl. Let me show you, girl. I got a new pet. I got a new pet. Yeah. Where did he go? Oh. Hi, kitty. So let me tell y'all a little story real quick. I keep these dishes out for the birds for every year. So I have birds that I take care of and they're kind of like my pets, you know? And I put like three dishes up here and they keep breaking. And I was wondering like, why are they breaking? Because the birds are light. So the birds not gonna tip them over. And I come to find out this baby's been eating food. I don't wanna get too close. Sorry. Sorry. But this is right outside of my office window. And I ain't mad, y'all. I love animals. As long as he don't get in this bitch, he can eat all he wants. Now I feel like I gotta bring him some food. this motherfucker red-handed. Hi, cutie. Eat it up, baby. This the one that's been, okay, I'm sorry. Y'all, uh, I'm over here supposed to be doing work and I just can't. Oops, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Don't leave, don't, don't leave, don't leave. Okay, let me shoot, let me shoot, let me shoot. I'm just, I'm just thirsty. I'm sorry. Okay, let me, let me wait. Don't break my dish. Don't you fucking break my dish. That's the only thing, y'all. I gotta find a dish that he can use because he gonna, he gonna tilt all my dishes over and break them. See him, he's coming back. I'm sorry. Let me shut my ass up. Long as he don't bring like six more of his friends, I can only do one or two squirrels, boom. He coming back, he's coming back. Yay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, I have these birds that I feed every single year. And it's just tons of amazing birds out there. And every year I put food out on my ledge and they just come and they eat. it will be the same ones, it'd be tons of them. There's like three of them where I know exactly who they are. Three or four of them where I know exactly who they are and I even gave them names, baby boo. But at the same time, there's so many other birds that just come and eat and they're babies, they're like little babies. And I mean, I spoil them, girl. I give them the good shit the good food, okay? He's peaceful to be able to come to my office in the morning and, you know, open the windows, get some fresh air, see such great scenery, and hear the birds chirping literally all day. Um, it's just beautiful to me. So I love spoiling them, right? And it's almost like having a pet without having a pet. I can feed them, I can look at them, but I don't have to keep them. Ain't that amazing? Yes. So I had like three dishes out there full of bird food and they never got knocked over. They never fell off the ledge or nothing like that. But this last week, all of my dishes kept falling off of the ledge, like literally breaking. And I'm like, why are they falling off the ledge? Because it wasn't windy yesterday. 
Um, the birds are way too small. Their little feet and weight cannot do nothing to the bows that I got out there. It comes to find out, there's a squirrel that found his way to the food and I ain't mad. I ain't mad, sis. Nope, I'm not. I'm really not. I just love animals like that. Like, I don't necessarily want to touch a squirrel. I won't say I'm necessarily scared of a squirrel either because I had a ferret. So, I'm, I love the little furry type of animals. I'm not really too much scared of those. But I just thought it was cool that the squirrel had came up and found his way and got some food. And I was just so happy about it. I was just like, oh, my God, it's so beautiful. But I was like, bitch, you better not bring no other squirrels. Okay, I can do one or two of y'all. One or two of y'all. But I can't do six, seven, eight, nine squirrels on my ledge. It just ain't gonna work. It's actually impossible. Y'all gonna be a fit. I went out and ended up getting more food because I was due for getting like all of my pets food, like my real pets and then my outside pets. Meaning my dogs, my fish, um, they needed food and then I need to get more bird food. And I was like, you know what? Now I'm gonna get a good mixture so that squirrels can get it too. You know what I'm saying? Have a little thing for the little squirrels. Baby, I went out and got some more food because I ran out of um, bird food today, actually. And I was like, now that I got the squirrel, let me spice it up even more. Like I was giving the birds sunflower seeds and dry worms. You know, a little bit of razzle dazzle, but then I saw this and it's just amazing. There's so much good stuff in here that I want to eat. Like walnuts, fruit, they have fucking peppers in there and it's just good for the birds and oh my god y'all, biscuits and yeah, uh, taking a video of my uh, food and looking at these birds that just landed. Oh, I just scared them. But, and I'm just gonna see what happened y'all because if a raccoon start coming up in this bitch, I ain't gonna be able to do it. <laughs> ass ain't gonna be able to do it but it has all type of amazing stuff like i spoil these damn birds like i said it's almost like having look at that yeah it's almost like having my own pet birds and squirrels without actually having to keep them in my house so that's pretty cool i'm just that type of person y'all you know i love just my home i love gardening i love taking care of the little animals outside so this is amazing now baby listen here i can do the birds i can do the squirrel but baby if a raccoon come up there baby i ain't gonna be able to do it she won't and ain't she ain't gonna be able to take it and can't I didn't even want to bring out the camera because one, I'm looking crazy, but it's just one of those days where, it's actually a Saturday, but it's one of those Saturdays where you just want to go get some wine, open some wine, and you know, turn on some good music and float around the house with your babe as y'all cook, as y'all clean, dance in between, toast in between, see the dogs run around the house and all that good shit. So that's kind of our vibe today. We're just staying in, cleaning up, organizing, um, having wine, cooking, and just enjoying each other's space and aura and vibe, you know? Babe is coming back. She's pulling up right now. Actually came back from the store because we're having a homemade crab ball night tonight. I'm talking two pounds of snow crab. I'm talking one pound of hairless shrimp. I'm talking sausage and corn and potatoes. Ha <laughs> ha. And some spicy sauce with all the seasonings and the garlic. Okay. And she got my wine. Yes, God. So yes, <laughs> that's what we're doing today. Up there, Perez, just in there. Girl, ain't, no, ain't no more food left. Oh no, she found some more. She just stared dead at you while she eating too. Ain't nobody about to bother you. <laughs>
I mean, he really chilling. Hey, baby. Oh, she don't give a fuck about me. I know that's right. So cute. You can't come in, baby boo. Hi, cutie. Hi. 